Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'm going to be doing this yellow, orange, and pink fade. It was requested, I did a duo look a, long, uh, a while ago with blues, and I done them when I first started, which are, duo looks are, if you don't know, um, where I do an eye look and I come up with a fingernail um, for it as well. Um, I haven't filmed the tutorial for the fingernails yet, but I'm going to, and after this video is posted, you'll see the fingernail tutorial the next day. Um, it will also be a type of fade because um, that was what was requested. Interested in how to do this um, very easy fade, please continue to watch. To get started, I've already applied the e.l.f. Mineral Eyeshadow Primer. And as a secondary base, because these colors are very shimmery, um, you'll have fallout and sometimes they're patchy because they're so shimmery. Um, so a something sticky for them to stick on is like a must um, if you're going to use the same products um, as I do, in my opinion. So I use this e.l.f. all over color stick. This one's in spotlight. It's just a like shimmery off white color. And that's all over the lid and um, a tad in the crease, but not much because it'll start creasing. And the first shadows, um, well, all the almost all the shadows that I'll be using is from this uh, palette that came out at Christmas. It's the Ultimate Blockbuster 120 um, palette uh, from Profusion. So the first shadow I'm going to use, I'm going to try to block the mirror um, so you don't get blinded and stuff, is this bottom one right there. So it's right there. And then the second is going to be this orange down here on the second layer. And the final color from this palette will be this pink one. Those are all the colors I'm using from this particular palette. And the entire time uh, for the color part of it, of uh, the lid and crease colors, I'll be using the same eyeshadow brush. It's just a basic eyeshadow, like round eyeshadow brush. So I'm gonna go in with the yellow and start patting that in to the innermost corner of my eye. I'm gonna wipe the brush off and actually go in with the orange one now. That one's going in the middle. And I'm patting this color as well. And kind of blend as you go. These colors will blend very nicely because they're similar in uh, hue. And they're shimmery also. Now I'm actually going to be going in with the pink color. Now... This one's a little bright, uh, almost for this look, but um, if you have a different one in mind that you would like to use, go ahead and grab that. But I'm using this one because they're all from the same palette. I'm not using uh, any highlight colors from the palette because they're all shimmery and I don't really want shimmer um, all over the lid or all over my eye area, I should say. So, um, while putting this on, I'm just kind of blending as I go as well. I'm going to go in with an angled eyeliner brush. And the yellow was actually already down there. And I'm going to be going in with that orange first. And just applying it 
to your lower lash line. And then I'm going to go on with the pink on the wrist. Connect it with the outer corner um, pink there. It's the same pink, but you need to connect them. So you don't have this random like bare spot at the corner of your eye. And as for the highlight color, I'm going to be taking, this is a NYX single, or NYX, um, however you say it, it's fine, um, but this is in pure skin, so I'm going to apply this directly under the eyebrow, and I'm going to help blend the edge of these colors down. just to soften up the, their outer edge okay once I have that done I'm going to show you what I use for the liner and stuff I use this LA Colors Pearl liner this one is a metallic black and um, I just did a really thin line we have white eyeliner in the waterline to lighten this up because it is so it's gonna be wearable look I used a glitter liner from Mary Kate and Ashley. Um, they used to sell this line, uh, makeup brand at Walmart, and now I don't know where you can find it. Um, but it's just a sparkling top coat, and I used that on the liner up top. I just placed some glitter on there, and I took it along the shadows on the lower lash line as well. And I'll go ahead and show. Oh yeah, the mascara was the Rimmel Flash one. Here's the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. Um, thank you for the request. So, thank you guys for watching. Bye.